an easy seated pose. And whichever pose suits, legs in front or stacked on top. And we can always have something to lift our hips up if that feels good. Okay, with the back of our hands and our knees, tall torsos lifting our head parallel to the floor so that the chin is parallel to the floor, pulling our shoulders up and back. And perhaps we do a mudra with our hands connecting our thumbs and our first finger. And we'll take a few deep breaths in through the nose and side out through the mouth. Noticing the muscles in our faces soften, the shoulders melting towards the ear, the floor, and a softening of the diaphragm. Allowing the breath to assume its natural rhythm in and out through the nose. And just bringing our awareness there to the speed of the breath and the depth. Not trying to change it, just noting it. Noticing the energy and the mood of the body. And perhaps any thoughts that we might be feeling or particular physical sensations. a moment to set an intention for our practice. It could be as simple as being present in this moment, connecting with our physical sensations, or connecting with our breath. Bringing our awareness back to the space around us, the sounds, temperature and the smells. Bringing our hands to cup around our knees and we'll butterfly our arms, first drawing our shoulders back, lifting our chest through on the inhale. And on the exhale, we round our elbows forward, lowering our chins to our chest, rounding into the spine. On the inhale, we reach our chest through. And exhale, we round back, finding whatever fluid movement feels good for our spine and our neck. Finding an opening of the chest and the abdomen. Noticing any sensations in our hips as we press on our knees for leverage. Finding a warm, yummy flow. Starting to create a little warmth and space in the spine. Two. Finishing that one, coming back to neutral when you're ready, rolling the shoulders up and back. We reset with a tall torso. Lifting our arms over our shoulders, inhaling, reaching, expanding into the side body. Exhale, open, twist, bringing our fingertips behind us, looking over our shoulder. Finding length from the tailbone through the crown of the head. 
Breathing into any areas of discomfort. Two more deep breaths. Nourishing all of those tissues that run along the spine, through the upper back and into the neck. Next inhale, we come back to center, stacking our arms, reaching up. And we hinge forward. Using our hands as support on the earth, finding grounding, allowing our head to hang heavy, and checking in with the sensations in our hips and our lower back, perhaps the back of the neck. And using the breath to soothe the tissues, to soothe those areas of discomfort. Next, inhale, we press our torso top, walking our hands back in. We inhale, bringing our arms over our shoulders again. And exhale, open, twist, opposite direction. Hand comes to the outer knee, fingertips come behind us, and we gaze over our shoulder. Open, twist. Pressing the fingertips up, elevate, lengthen the spine. Two more big breaths here. And the next inhale, we rotate back to center, lifting our arms all the way to the sky. Making fists, thumbs are sticking out, and we bring them onto a diagonal. Trying to lift our chest through as we draw our arms back. Engaging the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the upper back. Noticing what's happening to our lower back, our tailbone, and our abdomen. Can we keep our arms on a diagonal for three or two? And last deep breath. Bringing our palms together in heart center. Deep breath in to reset. And we sigh it out. Feeling the shoulders melt down towards the earth. Let's extend our legs in front of us. Give them a little wiggle. Okay. <coughs> wiggle the feet, flexing and pointing. Bringing a little awareness there. Good. Good, and we'll extend our legs wide on the mat. Big, wide. Pressing our wrestles forward if that feels good and it helps us to set up tall so that we're not collapsing. We want to keep our toes pointed to the sky. This might be enough. <laughs> if it's not, we'll walk our hands out really gently. Finding somewhere that is comfortably uncomfortable that we can breathe into creating space in our inner thighs using our breath to guide the intensity of our pose. Noticing if it becomes labored, we just pull ourselves back. And with each exhalation, perhaps we melt a little closer to the earth. Noticing slight openings in our inner thighs. Noticing the gentle expression on our faces. 
and our jaws are not holding tension. Checking in with the toes, making sure they're still pointing up and we're not rolling forward. Letting go of any expectation or judgment. There is no competition as to where we should be. Not with ourselves or with others. And on the next inhale, we'll walk ourselves up, stacking the vertebrae. And we'll bring our feet all the way back in, maybe releasing at the knees if that felt intense. And we'll cross the opposite foot in front, back to whichever easy seated pose we chose to start with. Finding ourselves in position. Inhaling, reaching our arms up. Closed, twist to one side. Head comes to the farthest knee, and we continue to press the floor away with our fingertips, elongating the spine, gazing over our shoulder. Deep breaths, filling the lungs, noticing the ribcage expand laterally, noticing all the yummy nourishment that we're bringing to any areas of discomfort. Continuing to breathe naturally through our nose and through the back of our throat and sinus cavity. Getting a gentle vibration of the breath and a warming sensation. On the next inhale, we'll come back to center, lifting our arms, hinging at the hips, coming forward, hands come to the earth. Pressing our knees to the mat, feeling a gentle opening in our hips, elongating the spine, using our hands and our arms as support. Two more breaths here. And on the next inhale, walk our hands up. Inhale, reach the arms over our shoulders. Close, twist, opposite direction, reaching the hand to the farthest knee. And arm comes behind us. Pressing the fingers into the floor, lifting the torso up. Gazing over our shoulder. Two more big breaths here. Reaching our arms up, coming back to center. Breathing normally, making fists, sticking our thumbs out, coming back into a diagonal, tall to ourselves. An option to activate our breath of fire, exhaling through our nostril and letting our bodies inhale naturally, working our diaphragm and our abdomen.
Resetting with a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now bring our heads back to heart center. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. One more just like that, softening the expression on our faces. Softening through the shoulders and the arms. And once again, we'll extend our legs wide. Opening gently, pressing ourselves forward if that feels good to help open the inner thighs, keeping our toes pressed up. And once again, we'll walk our hands out gently, finding a grounding of our hands. Perhaps we can lower down to our forearms or fists or palms, making sure all the while to keep our inner thighs open and the toes facing up. Noticing the micro gains that we're making, releasing stress and tension in our inner thighs and hips. in with the toes, making sure they're still pointed up. One more big breath in. Lifting our gaze, pressing our hands into the earth, walking ourselves back in. And one more time, let's bring our feet back into the center. Good. Let's stack our legs this time in fire logs. It could be wide, it could be narrow, whatever feels good for us. We want to open the hip. Option to hold here. Option to bring the hands to heart center. Ensuring a tall torso. Option to lift the arms over the shoulders and come into a gentle twist. Coming over the top knee, finding our hand wherever feels comfortable, wherever will give us a gentle twist. Gazing over our shoulder. Noticing the sensations in our upper back neck and hip. Not forcing anything. And on the next inhale, we come back to center, lifting our arms. Option to hinge forward. That may just be simply bringing our hands to the earth. And if possible, we walk out elongating the spine. Gentle expressions on our face as we continue to breathe naturally. If it's labored, we know we're pushing too far, too fast. Bringing our awareness to any areas of discomfort we might have in the hip. Honoring the state of our body. Listening to what it's telling us, where we hold our tension. Celebrating micro gains we might be making. And on the next inhale, we'll slowly stack the vertebrae, bringing our torsos on top of our hips. And we'll release that 
of that, bringing our feet in front of us, giving them a little wiggle. Pointing, flexing, rolling the feet. Feeling all that yumminess. Now we'll shift over to the opposite hip. So bringing our foot on top of the opposite knee or wherever it connects naturally, but we want to get into that hip. Slowly making those gains, working on it, working on releasing tension. Comfortably uncomfortable. Hands come to heart center. Stacking our shoulders on top of our hips. And on the next inhale, we lift our arms over our shoulders. We come back into a twist over that upper knee. Loading our front hand to wherever it falls naturally. Back hand, we're pressing the fingertips into the earth, lifting our torso tall, looking over our shoulder, eyes open or closed. Continuing our, our nose breathing, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. That Darth Vader breathing through the back of our throat from sinus cavity. Feeling the diaphragm rise and fall. The expansion of our ribs laterally and the nourishment of the tissues in our upper back and neck. One more deep breath here. Next inhale, we come back to center, lifting our arms over our shoulders. Exhale, we bring our hands to the earth. It might be on our fingertips, it might be flat hands, or we walk out gently, melting into our hip. Elongating with the inhale, melting with the exhale, finding a comfortably uncomfortable position. Not pushing too far, too fast. We listen to our breath. What is it telling us? Noticing the gentle expression on our face, that we're not shifting tension to our jaw, clenching our teeth, that we can maintain a gentle, steady rhythm of breath as we release tension. Next inhale, we stack the vertebrae. Then we roll out of that gently, extending our legs in front of us. running from the spine through to the knee, being gentle, but breaking up a bit of tension, breaking through some cobwebs. Getting a little massage of our butt, rolling left to right. And 
coming into a double deer, a double four deer pose. So bringing both legs to about a 90 degree angle, making sure the ankles and the knees are on the earth. Good, tall torso. Checking in with the sensations that we might be feeling. And the same arm as our front knee, we're gonna lift. And then we're gonna come into a gentle side bend. Oh, yummy. And then again, we're not pushing too far, too fast. If we can't breathe naturally, we need to back off a little bit. And slowly ease over, creating space in the side body, lower back and hip with each exhalation. Using the exhale through our nose to slowly calm our inner emotions, to calm the inner stress that we may be feeling because of discomfort in our body. Each exhalation, we slowly round ourselves. Bringing our focus over the back leg. Gentle rotation here. Maybe feeling this in the outer edge of the leg. Gentle twist. Calm, steady rhythm of breath. Noticing what's happening in the outer edge of the leg, the hips, the lower back, maybe even the upper back. Maybe there's a pattern running from the neck down the shoulder and across. Deep breaths to nourish, to break up those patterns. Now we'll gently come out of that. Bringing our feet back in front of us, windshield wipering before we get over to the other side. Feet are hip width apart. Noticing a difference in sensations on one side of the body. And when you get over to the other side, we set up in our double four deer pose, bringing our ankle and our knees to the mat. Tall to ourself. And inhaling, bringing our arm on top of the front leg and slowly coming into a side bend. Remembering to listen to the breath. Sinking with each exhalation as energy starts to move and unblock. Reach in the arm tall, finding space, creating space in the side body. And with each, each exhalation, to slowly start to round forward. Bringing both arms over the back leg. Gentle twist. And again, we notice patterns of tension we might be holding. We bring our awareness to the breath. Noticing that we haven't shifted tension to our jaw or our face. Noticing a softening of the shoulders. Yeah, we'll come out of that. Gently making our way onto our knees after extending our legs all the way in front of us and giving them a little wiggle. Surely that'll feel good. Sip of water in between. And a gentle wiggle of the feet. Make 
making our way into kneeling. And we'll activate the toes and the bottoms of the feet, making sure the pinky toes are cooperating and all five toes are underneath us. Rolling our shoulders, stacking them over top of our hips. Bringing our hands behind our back, interlacing the fingers, driving the knuckles down towards the earth. And as possible, we can lift the chest opening and lift the hands away from the glute. Noticing an opening across the chest, down the abdomen. Maybe even opening the neck, tilting the head back if it feels good. Doing whatever feels best for our body, what our body needs today. We release our hands, releasing our feet, coming into all fours, tapping it out, just a mini toes pose to start, wiggling, tapping, releasing that energy, oh yummy, and we'll come right back into toes pose if it feels comfortably uncomfortable and we have the resilience to get through another set. <clears throat> left arm under right, eagling the arms, palms together as possible. On the inhale, we'll lift the arms up. On the exhale, we'll draw them back down, noticing the opening across the back, across the shoulders, down the fronts of the arms. Noticing maybe even up through the neck. Just being aware of all the yummy sensations, the energy we're moving. Noticing how the energy in our toes might be shifting Perhaps it's starting to calm and settle, all those nerve endings. One more big breath here. And we release out of that, coming back into all fours, tapping it out. Wiggle the ankles, pointing and flexing, whatever feels good to move that energy through. We've got one more set. We come straight back into toes pose. We have the resilience. I know we can do this. Move the energy, feel those micro gains, even in the balls of our feet and our toes. Right arm under left. Palms as close together as possible, inhaling, lifting the arms up, and exhaling, drawing them back down. Perhaps we're smiling, noticing that we have gentle expressions on our faces, we haven't shifted tension to our jaws, noticing different sensations on this side of the arm, the upper back and neck. Being curious about the sensations. Noticing our calm inner balance that 
We've stilled the waters with our exhalations. We've noticed microbeams. We've moved energy. Let's tap it out. Well done. What a difference from the first toes pose. And we'll come back into kneeling. Bring our hands to our knees. Lifting our chest through on the inhalation. Exhale, butterfly rounding into the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drawing the shoulder blades in and back, lifting our chest through. Exhale, rounding our arms forward, rounding into the spine, chin to chest. We'll repeat this. To the rhythm of our breath our range of motion, finding a fluidity that works for us and warms the spine and neck. Noticing what's happening in the fronts of the feet. Noticing the opening of our chest and abdomen and the space we're creating between the vertebrae. Perhaps even more fluidity than the first time we did our butterfly poses today. Let's do two more. We come back to neutral, bringing our backs of our hands onto the top of our thighs, maybe back into a mudra, thumb to first finger. Gentle expression on our faces, taking a moment to check in with the mood and the energy of the body, and perhaps reflecting on the intention we set at the beginning of our practice. And shifting our weight over to one side, we'll come into Shavasana. We'll do a few twists, back of the leg extensions, and come into final resting pose, sip of water in between as desired. And making our way down one vertebra at a time, shoulders bent head, keeping our feet on the mat. And perhaps we walk the feet a little wider than hip width. And let's do our windshield wipers again, left to right. So whatever speed, pause, and depth feels good for us to notice where we're holding tightness. to stay in that double four. Perhaps we stack our ankle on top of the knee and add a little intensity and depth to the stretch of our lower back. Or perhaps we eagle the legs. Whatever feels comfortably uncomfortable where we feel we're making micro gains. Where we're releasing tension that we may not have been aware of. We're not shifting it to our face or our jaw. And we're using our ujjayi breath to calm us from the inside out.
that's just it. There's no competition. There's no judgment, and there's no expectation. We do what feels best for our Lord. That way we can release out of that, bringing both feet back to the mat, nice and wide. And slowly shifting over to the other side. Option to stay here in double forward. Option to lift the front ankle over the knee. Or to eagle the legs as feels suitable and accessible for our body. Where we feel that we'll get benefit. Bring our awareness to those areas of discomfort. Gentle expression on our faces. Perhaps noticing our Awareness has shifted, noticing the distraction, noting whether it's mental, physical, or emotional, and bringing our awareness back to the physical sensations or our breath. gentle hug, narrow or wide as feels comfortable. Perhaps we keep our head on the mat, perhaps we lift it, rocking, pulsing, or finding stillness as suits. Pointing, flexing, rolling, rounding. Now let's bring our right foot back to the earth, interlacing our hands behind our left thigh, flexing our left foot. Deep breaths in. On the exhale, we'll drive the heel up to the sky. Inhale, we draw the heel back. Exhale, we drive it back up. Not worrying about how straight our leg is. Trying to keep the knee tucked into the chest. Gentle expression on our face. shifting the weight left to right, checking in with the hip, checking in with the fluidity, movement of the head. Perhaps from here we come into another spinal twist with our opposite hand on top of the knee, drawing the knee across the body, shifting our weight, gazing over the opposite side, opposite arm can extend. No expectation of the foot making contact with the floor. Perhaps we lift and lower our knee, we shift, moving around, breaking through any cobwebs.
Beautiful. Coming all the way out of that. Allowing both legs to extend long on the mat. Letting the lower back reset. Deep breath in through the nose and sighing it up through the mouth. Noticing the contact our bodies make on the earth below. The back of the head, the shoulders, arms, shoulder blades, hips, back of the legs, calves and heels. And we both draw both legs back up. 90 degrees. And we'll hug the right knee into our chest interlacing our hands behind the thigh, flexing our right foot. Deep breaths in. And on the exhale, we extend the leg up, trying to keep our knee hugged to our chest. Inhale, we lower. And exhale, we extend the heel, driving it up. Inhale, we lower. And exhale up. Inhale, lower. Repeating this with the motion of our breath. Noticing the gentle expression on our face or maybe even a smile. Two more. Holding this last one up, driving the heel up, trying to hug the knee towards our chest, and then we can extend our opposite leg long on the mat. And we release the heel, releasing the foot, giving a little wiggle, hugging the knee in, opposite hand comes to the outer edge of the knee, extending the opposite arm. And a gentle twist of the spine, easing over the opposite arm extended from the shoulder. Not worrying about connecting our foot to the earth. Maintaining our palm steady rhythm of breath. Maybe floating the knee up and down. That feels good, checking in with the sensations, how they change, and what's happening in our hip and lower back. ourselves back to center, supporting the knee, and then allowing the legs to run long on the mat, the lower back to assume its natural curvature. And once again, just noticing the contact our body makes on the earth below, running through a body scan from head to toe. All the way through the arms, down to the fingers, the lungs, the chest, and the upper back, down through the abdomen, the lower back, into the hips, the trunk, the glutes, the back of the legs, the front of the legs, the knees. Down through the shins and the calves, the heels, ankles, tops of the feet, bottoms of the feet, and toes. And perhaps we visualize with our inhalation sunlight coming in from the tips of our toes, drawing it all the way up to our legs up to our entire body, filling our bodies with lightness and warmth of the sun. 
melting away tension, melting away emotions that may not serve us, creating space from within for new energy, for new emotions and experiences. Give you a moment to reflect on any intention we may have set perhaps to set a new intention for the hours and days ahead. Bringing our awareness back to the space around us, sounds, temperature, Moving through some micro movements, really knowing our feet, our hands, and our wrists, activating muscles in our arms and legs. And when we're ready, we can draw our feet back in, rolling ourselves over and up. When we're ready, we blink our eyes open. And we bring our hands back to heart center. with smiles on our faces, we give thanks for the opportunity to practice, for the opportunity to focus on areas of discomfort, emotions of discomfort, and to give ourselves the time to process and to release some of the tension that we hold, creating space for newness, our floaty zen feelings into the hours ahead and remembering we can always come back to these feelings in moments of stress thank you for allowing me to guide you on your journey today for giving your body the time it needs to reset and for setting yourselves up for the hours and days ahead Namaste.